Do I look at you or do I look at the camera? I'm Vanui and this is scene one, take one. <laughs> that, was, that was a really bad start. <laughs> International development is a mix of politics, economics and social justice with particular focus on emerging economies. I chose international development because of the multidisciplinary nature of it. I mean, it was just, it was something that kind of combined everything that I wanted to do, like social justice, economics, politics, it was the whole mix of everything in like the right variety that I could really cater to what I wanted it to be. So I was like, let's go for it. <laughs> the very first question I always get asked is, how is it different from international relations? <laughs> <laughs> international relations is way more politics and theory based whereas uh, international development is way more focused on like the application side, the practical side, applying it particularly to emerging economies. I would say it's a very very forward thinking course. Everything is a development issue. Everything that you see on, in the world is a development issue. In the news is the development of COVID-19, the impact of that, um, Black Lives Matter, the campaigns, is the, is the social movements for that. Everything is a development issue so it's very real. So the first year gives a basic understanding of the things that you need to know and to kind of make a decision of where you want to progress to. So you get an insight into social justice, you get an insight into economics and politics and how to analyse these issues within development. In second year, you kind of start to focus on something that what, what interests you. And so within social justice, you can do issues such as race, privilege, identity. Uh, within economics, there's macro and microeconomics. Um, within politics it's like political economy and other issues um, that are covered. Third year you get more specific than you have done in the previous two years. For social justice for instance I focus more on like gender issues um, or issues that kind of um, gender can result into. For instance my dissertation was focused on domestic violence. For politics you focus kind of on like the politics of market reforms, more political economy issues and for economics you have way more of a focus on economics such as like econometrics and it's a very uh, detailed and analysed description or analysis of economics and of all development issues in general plus you do a dissertation. What sets King's apart as a university is it's at the heart of London, so many connections around, the networking is crazy, the lecturers are so prestigious, so well known, so distinguished, just so many things that sets King's apart that I can't even focus on one. Uh, some of the great facilities that King's offers is careers and employability services, um, you can do languages as part of your course as well. Office hours with the lecturers where you can um, talk with your lecturers, discuss the essays. And there's societies, there's amazing societies. You can focus on literally anything. Our lecturers are really prestigious as well. And just listening to them, I feel really privileged because they are the people who you read about them in the articles, you read about them, you see them on the news. I mean, I genuinely feel proud that like, I've been taught by such prestigious, by such distinguished academics in the field. You can feel intimidated sometimes, but I would say don't be. Honestly, they're the most approachable people and they want to be approached. They want to hear your ideas. They want, to, they learn from you as much as you learn from them. I graduated with a first class honours degree in the Bachelor of International Development. Um, so that's kind of the qualification that I've gained. Regarding career prospects, it can literally take you anywhere. Because the de degree is so multidisciplinary, it can take you down any route. So, it can, so I know friends who have gone into economics, I know friends who have gone into even law, uh, journalism. It can take you, frankly, anywhere. I've literally graduated from one of the best universities in the world. And everyone recognises that. Everyone gets that shock of, wow, it's King's College London. And, and so does the employer. So there's that um, focus sometimes that they really, really do want the top graduates. And King's places you up there. Hey. 
Uh, the general structure of the day is that you have a lecture led by the academic, which focuses on a particular topic of the, the day. And prior to that, you have to do your readings to kind of understand the lecture as well. And then you have a, this is usually followed by a seminar, which um, is a discussion of what happened in the lecture and discussion of the reading. Life on campus is also amazing because, but don't be afraid to get lost, it's a huge campus. So much going on on campus, so, so much activities, you can see your lecturers face to face. So I've enjoyed academia so much that I'm actually um, continuing my work life in academia. Uh, so I'm doing a master's in international relations. But afterwards, frankly, I have so many options that from the governmental sector to NGOs to think tanks, but I'm exploring every single one of my options right now. And wherever I end up, I know I'll love what I do because I've enjoyed studying my degree and I know I'll have that focus within my job as well. So as for, for like someone that's new to, to London, to King's, to in general the university experience, I would just say go for it. Literally, there's so much opportunities. Take every single opportunity you can because it's the more you do, the more amazing you'll make your experience. And I would not change my experience for anything else and I'm sure you won't do after you graduate.